Here's a quick video on the installation of Pufferfish, a plugin for Grasshopper. We can get this from foodforrhino.com, and Food for Rhino is a great place for all kinds of plugins for Rhino. It's exactly what it sounds like, Food for Rhino. So I just typed in Food for Rhino into Google, and I'll go here. And it looks like one of the sponsored apps, one of the app, one of the plugins that's right at the top is Pufferfish. If it's not there for you, you can just type in Pufferfish and enter. So we'll click on Pufferfish. And I'll scroll down to the most recent. And it looks like it's right here at the top, Pufferfish 3.0, last updated or uploaded. 2021 looks like November 23rd. So to download, you first have to log in. So I'll type in my email address and password. So once you've logged in, it will take you back to the download page and we can scroll back down to the most recent. It's Pufferfish version 3.0 and I'll click download. And once that's done, I'm going to show in the folder. I'm going to right click and just cut this. And then I'm going to open Rhino 7. And I'll open Grasshopper. And I'm going to go to File, Special Folders, Components folder. This is where most of the plugins can be or will be stored for Grasshopper. And by clicking on that, it'll automatically open this file. And then I can right click and just paste that Pufferfish folder, zipped folder in here. And then right click again and extract all. And I want to extract it in the libraries folder, in this Grasshopper libraries folder, extract. I'm going to put all my compressed folders in a separate folder. So I'm going to make a new folder and just call it zipped folders. You don't need to do this, but I just want this libraries folder to be a little cleaner. And then I'm going to go into the pufferfish, the one that we just unzipped, and find the actual grasshopper assembly file. That's this green grasshopper file. I'm going to right click and go to properties. This is something you'll need to check for a lot of the plugins for grasshopper. You need to unblock the file so that grasshopper can access it. So I right clicked, I went to properties, and this box right here needs to be checked, unblock, and then OK. And then we can clo close this folder, and in order to actually work with Pufferfish, we'll have to close Grasshopper and Rhino. And the next time we launch it, and open Grasshopper. Now we have a pufferfish tab and pufferfish is ready.